All right, chaps. I just wanted to give you a wee hello and say thanks very much for all the feedback on the first video. As it turns out, there's lots of people that can't wheelie. Quite a few people got in touch and said they'd actually started Ryan Leach's 30 day wheelie challenge or were inspired to start it, which is really, really cool. Two quick things before we get started. Firstly, I took a week off because of my rotator cuff injury. So I've included a little three minute segment with my housemate Tammy, who's a legendary fitness and lifestyle coach. She recommended me some rehab exercises and it sorted me right out. So if you've got sore or tight shoulders from excessive wheeling like I did, then that could really help you out. And secondly, we're converting a van. Check it out. This is just Steffi the step van. So yeah, if you're wondering why I'm wheeling around a random FedEx van throughout the video, that's why. All right, so lastly, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. All right, let's get cracking. So at the end of week one, how do you think it's going? Well, it's funny because I had my, like the last two days have been not very good. Well, when I did them, they didn't feel very good. But then I look back at the footage and yesterday I had some of the longest wheelies I've done so far. So it's interesting, you know, that your failures tend to be the ones that stay in your mind, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm awfully impatient. I want to be able to wheelie now. And I don't think I've ever done anything for 30 days solid. Well, good luck for week two. Yeah. Let's, let's live in that float zone. We'll see, we'll see. I can't do it. Day seven. Day eight. Well, when the filming gets too hard, employ some help. I'd like you to meet my beautiful assistant, Jobo. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, I feel like something's happening. I nearly come off the back a couple of times, so I'm starting to definitely explore that float zone. So, progress. Nothing like that though. So one day, one day. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh. Yeah, you floated that hard. Just that first crank, you just there, straight away. See a wheelie, she's killing it. Congrats, my dude. Day nine. Okay, I have a little uh, confession to make. So Ryan Leach did say at the beginning of the course not to overexert yourself and just don't go hell for leather, which is exactly what I did. And an old existing injury I used to have just here in my rotator cuff just started getting really inflamed, started pulsating with pain the more and more I did wheelies. So yeah, I had to take a couple of days off. If you're like me and you went too hard too soon, this could really help you out. This is Tammy. I live with Tammy. I'm pretty lucky to live with an instructor. So I'll hand over to her and she can introduce who she is. So I am a coach and an educator. I've been coaching for 20 years and I should clarify that as a fitness lifestyle coach. So I do a whole bunch of things like strength training, I teach people how to run, I teach people how to mountain bike as well, um, all kinds of things. So yeah, and then educator because I teach certification courses and so I'm kind of like the trainer of the trainers. So the first thing I need to point out is I am a certified personal trainer but I'm not a doctor. So anything I say here, your doctor trumps my advice. <laughs> Believe it or not, movement actually helps you heal. So one of the things you don't wanna do when you get injured is stop moving. I have a little ball for trigger point therapy. So you put the ball underneath your shoulder. Rotator cuff is not a muscle in itself. It's actually comprised of four muscles, four different muscles. So if you don't know which rotator cuff muscle actually needs attention, you're just gonna have to roll around until you find the spot. And you'll know when you find the spot because it'll be like, owie. 
find that spot and then apply some pressure and then breathe into it and the ball will do a lot of the work itself through its vibration so you're basically just belly breathing so breathe nice and deep big deep breath through the nose into the belly and then you want to breathe out through the nose and try to relax and you're going to hold that for about 30 seconds and then you're going to move around and see if you can find another spot so you can actually spend a couple of minutes doing this this is a vibrating roller actually put your put the foam roller underneath like this and then you would roll big long rolls over a larger surface area and again you may have to move around uh, <laughs> until you find you know the spot if you don't have access to that stuff you can always use the lacrosse ball I recommend twice a day and then before I do my sports I ended up in the same position as uh, Cheryl when I was practicing the wheelie Ryan's wheelie challenge I ended up getting tendonitis in my rotator cuff I was really surprised after just a couple of sessions with that I was almost back to brand new and then I rested for a couple of days and now I'm back at it so the aim of the game is to get back to wheelie in right yeah detent Day. Cannot even get the front wheel up this afternoon. You get good days and bad days, that is for sure. I'm definitely an overthinker and most of this week was really just about just practicing and not overanalyzing too much, but oh, you do get some days where you're just like, <sighs> that today's one of those days. mission is to find a little bit of tarmac that has a little bit of a slope to it because the slope definitely helps well it just rained really heavily in Fort Mac yesterday and <laughs> mountain fresh I did one descent to get down to my little uh, tarmac special and look at my bloody tires already you can't really ride them out here in Fort Mac it's like bloody soft jobbies so anyway <laughs> of honesty the success rate with the wheelies is really really low so yeah for like every somewhat promising wheelie I have maybe seven wheelies before it that are just absolute guff I have to say though I'm having a great wee morning I'm trying to use my breath to try and kind of reset and really rethink what skills I have to focus on pedal stroke looking at the front wheel keeping my arms straight stay relaxed breathe not always successful, but that's why we're here practicing, right? Check out my sweet calluses though. Should be called the 30 day callus challenge. I'm gonna finish up the video here on day 15, which is officially the halfway point. Even though it's day 15, I'm gonna hang out on Ryan Leach's day 11, which is the float zone precision. I spoke to quite a few other people about this and it seems like day 11 is a bit of a sticking point for people. I really need to get to a place where I'm sort of consistently getting into that float zone. That's what I'm going to take going forward. Uh, I had some of my best wheelies this week so, you know, I'm definitely progressing. It's just practice, isn't it? Just practice, practice, practice. So I'm on day 15, still can't wheelie, but I'm getting better. So that's the main thing. We'll see you next week.